Everyone, Elias here. Today we're going to talk about warming up technically. I'm going to have one person start with a high underhook and head position. Giving a tiny bit of resistance, they're going to let their other partner work to establish their own head position. Now we're going to work from a Russian tie with head position. Rogers got it on me. I'm going to work to separate, establish my own type of superior head position. We're going to go back and forth. Your turn, my turn, your turn, my turn for two minutes. All right, last month we worked one single leg takedown escape where we got parallel, got our shin out, wizard, separated the head, mule kicked, and get out. We're going to work two different ones. First one, our leg is staying inside. Instead of bouncing to the side in a way, we're going to get in front of them, but hop out in front of them. But before we do that, we're just going to practice hopping. Have your partner pick up your leg and stay balanced as you hop. Do 30 seconds each. After that, we're going to practice that bouncing away from them. Wrap up a front headlock. Put our chest over their head. Sprawl out hard and kick out hard with the leg they have trapped. From there, we'll be in a front headlock position. Next, we're going to work another situation where they have our leg inside. We either don't want to or... We're not able to get the leg free. We're going to shuck to create some space, then move their head to the other rib cage. From here, I'm wrapping up, sprawling out. I can also pull into a guard and start working an arm and guillotine. After you've done this back and forth for a couple minutes each, I want you to give each other a little resistance. So now Roger's really going to try to grip up tighter. He's going to try to push and pull me. I'm going to try to keep my balance. And I'm going to work on an escape of my choice. Choose one of the two. Actually, one of the three, right? That front leg headlock, kick out and sprawl, creating space with our wizard, shucking the head to the other rib cage, and then sprawling and kicking out. Or controlled very carefully, because we don't want to accidentally spike someone's head in practice, pulling a controlled guillotine attempt, All right? So now give each other maybe 40% resistance if you're the person grabbing the leg. And the person whose leg is trapped, I want you to really go ahead and, other than the guillotine pull, go all out and try to get that leg free, try to escape. 